Yo, what up, YouTube? It's me again. Money glitch. And today, we're going to talk about Little Nas X and this, what is it called? The Satan Shoe, okay? Now, Little Nas X, this guy right here, this guy is funny, okay? Because... He is trying to ignorantly be a part of something that he doesn't know about. Now, there's been a lot of rumors that I'm here to put to bed about Little Nas X being down with the Illuminati and him being a puppet of the Illuminati. And he's trying, he's just a little, who's mad at his dad. His dad is a gospel singer. A legitimate Jesus song maker okay remember that when you see all this devil stuff this is a rebellion against his father and his mother and his father got divorced when he was very young he lived in the projects in Atlanta he was couch surfing a lot and was homeless for a while didn't really have much going for himself dropped out of college his freshman year to become a singer played the trumpet until fourth grade by the by the freshman year of high school he was so good he was first chair trumpet person but he quit because he didn't want to look funny so he cared a lot about what people thought of him especially his parents okay remember that so little Nas X comes out with a shoe with human blood in it an Air Max shoe that's popular with people who know better, smart, know better people. He comes out with something for them. Okay. So we got a Nike. He promotes it as a Nike shoe with a company that's clearly ignorant about the situation too. And, um, you know, there's YouTubers doing reactions to this. And I, you know, I thought about lighting him up. Where is he at? This dude. This dude claimed to be a Christian, a sneaker life. Y'all go over there and tell him how you feel after seeing this video. This dude claims to be a Christian and that he's unbiased. And that he thinks it's just artwork. But he claims that he's saved. But he, can, he puts these shoes on that have human blood in them. And he talks about that it's just... BCC. He literally in the video says, demons aside. Okay? And he claims to be a Christian. But he's like, demons aside, this is good artwork or whatever. Like, can you put demons aside if you're a Christian? Y'all answer me in the comments. If you feel like you're a religious person who believes in your God and it's all a good being... Can you put demons aside? I mean, he almost has a million views on this video. Will you sell your God out? This is the ultimate test of God for this guy. And now this isn't my beliefs. I'm gonna get into my beliefs real soon here. But this guy goes against his Jesus God to review some devil Satan shoes. It's crazy. But let's get into the truth of this matter. Lil Nas X is ignorant because you have to understand the Bible does not use Lucifer and Satan interchangeably. Me, myself, I consider myself, this isn't a religion, this is a philosophy of life. I consider myself a Luciferian, not that that is a Satan worshiper. Now, Little Nas X is trying to pretend like he worships Satan, okay? Satan is the embodiment of destructiveness, okay? That's the embodiment of the archetype Satan is the archetype that is jealous of God, is trying to lead people away from goodness, which is love, trying to cause negativity, negative vibes, the 666, the bitch frequency. You know what I'm saying? So trying to, that's what the negative vibe literally is. And I'm gonna show you guys 
what Lucifer really is. And I'm gonna show you guys what a Freemason really is because a lot of people don't know what it is and they think that we are Satan people, but we are definitely totally different. Our vibe is altruistic. Our vibe is philanthropy. Our vibe is helping. And I'm gonna explain to you right now after I show you this. Bitch frequency. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just show you guys a little education so you can educate yourself and realize the Bible does not use Lucifer and Satan interchangeably, okay? Lucifer is the warning of knowledge. Lucifer translates to the bringer of light, okay? And it refers to the morning star. And I'm gonna break it down to y'all. The morning star is Venus, okay? And why is the morning star Venus? It's not the devil. Like, that's all little Nas X, okay? I'm gonna explain to y'all. Y'all call us the Illuminati or whatever because we don't defend ourselves. But it's really you Christians and you Democrats who are inventing this Satan character who is all evil. That is not us at all in the slightest. So, okay, bitch frequency. Let me just look up what it really is. I know what the slang term for it is, but I'm gonna explain myself. Y'all gonna like everything I say. Um, more importantly, there we go. Here's the 666 frequency here, guys. And um, I'll play a little bit of it for you. But no, actually, I'm not going to play it for you because that's not what I do. So this is the frequency chakra healing. It's into that kind of stuff, okay? That's what its secret meaning behind the 666 is. That's not how Little Nas X is using it, though, okay? That's not what he's doing. Um... So let me tell you the difference, okay? This Satan thing, and this has nothing to do with the Illuminati. This has nothing to do with with um, Freemasons like myself. This has nothing to do with us. I want you to really severely understand this has only to do with little Nas X and this company. Him personally trying to take advantage of the negativity that he can stir up, which is way more to him worth it than the positive that he can stir up and he has to answer to God. You can call it karma or whatever you want, but this is a major, major offering up to the universe that you want something super, super negative vibe to happen to yourself. This is how much people are a fool over money. Okay, us Masons, we don't do that over money because we invent the money. See, money has our symbols on it. We control the institutions that control the money. Aside, we're not into that whole religion thing, though. Like that, all that, the king and the queen and the, the pope and all those people, those people, Joe Biden. Okay, y'all all preaching for Joe Biden is the same thing as the pope and the queen. That's all the same thing. And they're the ones trying to sell their souls for money. We are the righteous. There's just a difference. I just had to put it out there. When you are a Luciferian, you want knowledge. That's it. You want to understand God the most. We don't we don't look at stuff like a vaccine and like this stupid I'm not going to be looking up what's the ingredients. I'm going to stick out my arm and let them plunge me with the cure. She called the vaccine a cure. She's so stupid. She got all these people Biden looking motherfuckers around her. They don't speak for people who have my skin tone. That's how they try to brainwash you. They try to tell you your skin tone is who you are. But everyone in science learns at an early age that the color that you see is the not the color that it is. That's the color that it's being refracted and our cones in our eyes changes it so it's all uh, imaginary. The cones in our eyes is what tells us what color this is based on what's being rejected, not absorbed. Every other color spectrum is being absorbed in here except for black or brown or whatever you want to call me. Look at how the science 
explains how light is absorbed and how we perceive things around us. So the government knows this because they all decide what's in our schooling, but they still want, look at how much they can divide you off the color of your skin. And they know that color is just a figment of our imagination. So just think, this lady is saying to plunge this stuff in your skin and I'm saying, I'm not saying it is good. I'm not saying it is bad. I'm saying that just because you watch, this is what a real Luciferian will say. Just because I watch somebody with a white coat on stick a needle in your arm and plunge some liquid in there, that does not mean that what's in the next liquid is the same thing. Even It doesn't even mean it's the same thing just because the needle looks the same and all that. It could be a live virus in one, and it could be a dead one in one. It could be, not, there could be not a virus. It could be just a bunch of fucking, they use, they admit they use dead babies. That's why the Pope said you can't use the Johnson & Johnson one if you're a Christian. Because they have dead baby parts in, in the Johnson & Johnson. admit it in the ingredients. Now I ain't never sat down at the kitchen and said, you know what this is missing? I ain't never been like, If we had a little bit of dead baby that would bring it all together. So I don't know what they're doing. And I don't know what they're not doing. I don't know if that's just a lie. They say there's babies in it. I don't know if there's blood in this nigga's shoes. All I know is this is the mind of an aware person in the moment, okay? If you understand the power you have in the moment or the power you have to influence the universe, then you understand that people like this are creating a fake image so that I see all your TikTok videos that are saying, oh, the, the, the Luciferian Satanists are putting their little puppets to work. No, that doesn't work like that at all. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, this is on the same level as, this is being exciting to y'all because this is on the same level as, um, what's that dude's name? Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Nas X, Lil Uzi Vert. These three little syllable type posers. You know what I'm saying? If you put Lil in your name, you're a poser, bruh. Like, what? So just realize who you're dealing with. You're dealing with someone who has a father that raised him as a Christian singer, as a gospel artist that sings for Jesus Christ. And you bring up a son who's rebellion against you he's gay he he's worshiping the devil he's trying to spite his upbringing and his self you know he's ashamed of himself this that's what the that's what this breaks down to if you want to switch over to it from entertainment to psychology and sociology he is acting out what he calls an artistic rendition of him being ashamed of himself. That's why he said in this new little Montero, which he's named after the Mitsubishi Montero. That's what his real name is. If you look at this Montero song that he has, he's saying that his fantasy is a world where you can be yourself the parts that, he didn't say the parts that other people judge you for. He didn't say you can come in here and not be judged. He said the parts you don't like about yourself, you don't have to be anymore. And that leads to this. And see, see what makes him stupid is that, and I hope you're not one of these stupid people like him. He thinks that Satan and Lucifer is the same thing. He, the, the satanic vibe is the negative, ignorant, stupid, untrained mind, okay? And Lucifer, the morning star, is Venus, the last star visible in the sky before the sun rises, okay? When the sun starts to rise and you can't see the sun yet on the horizon, when all the stars go away in the light, there is one star that always remains last, the star of the morning, bringing in the sun and chasing out the darkness, the bringer of light, the light bearer, the knowledge bearer. That's why they say if you're illuminated, you are smart. In all cultures throughout history, they were saying the enlightened one. It's the illuminated mind. That is what you're dealing with when you're dealing with Masons. And we got Masons that are Christians. We got Masons that are Catholics. We got Masons that are Pentecostal. We got Freemasons that are Buddhists. 
We got Masons that are um, Sheik. We got Muslims. We had every religion in the world is welcome. Because when you come into our lodge, you can bring, when you become a full-fledged Mason, you can bring whatever religious text that you believe in in your heart that's going to help you do good in your community. That's the difference. Satan is someone who wants you to go out and do harm to your community and not care and spread negativity. Okay? That's a big difference. So this guy doesn't speak for the Illuminati. That's debunked. He speaks for only his ignorant mind. He dropped out of college, so he does not want to learn about anything. He wants he wants everything to be about his little hissy fit, is what I'll call it. Him doing a little lap dance to himself as the devil, that has nothing to do with Luciferianism and elite illuminated mind groups. It has nothing to do with it. In fact, it has everything to do with your Christianity, if you ask me. That's why I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian, but I love my Christian mates and brothers because they're out here doing good with it. But I don't, there's nobody who doesn't believe in God. There's no atheists or no Satanists that are also Freemasons that I know of. Okay? That's just what I don't know. Is there a chance that it's out there? Yes. Is this what it looks like when they do something? Not at all. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. That's why you find them trying to chase somebody who actually has a lot of illumination and power. You know, people at Nike, you find them in a battle against them people now. They're about to crush that company mischief or whatever. You about to get crushed like the company you are. But you're gonna get a lot of, I mean, negativity spreads faster. So you're gonna get your money for this probably. But Lil Nas X is, is canceled.